Hello everyone. This is Professor Michelle Jansi from the Department of Management Studies, C.K. Thakur College of Arts, Commerce and Science, New Panvel. Today, the topic that we are going to discuss is consumer behavior. So, as consumer behavior is a study of the process involved when individuals or groups select, purchase, dispose of products or services to satisfy their needs and desires. It is a combination of five disciplines, psychology, sociology, anthropology, economics and marketing management. So when we discuss the characteristics of consumer behavior, it's complex in nature as every consumer has their different needs and wants. So let us see. The first one, it is a process where consumers decide what to buy, when to buy, how to buy, where to buy and how much to buy. It comprises of both material and physical activities of consumers. Consumer behavior is very complex and dynamic which keeps on changing. Individual buying behavior is affected by various internal as well as external factors like their needs, wants, attitudes, personalities, status, culture, social behavior, etc. Consumer behavior starts before buying and even after purchase. So, why is consumer behavior important or what is the need for the marketer to study the consumer behavior? It helps the consumer, uh, the marketers to make better strategies for the consumers like um, uh, deciding on their pricing strategies, their product strategies, how it could be marketed. It helps the marketers to consider consumers hygiene, fitness, health in making their decisions. It helps them to know the buying decision and how consumer is making consumption. As there is a consistent change in consumer decision process, it also helps in the marketers to understand their taste, the changing consumer's taste and preferences. It helps the marketers to also avoid market failures. Uh, here are the different types of consumer uh, buying behaviors, uh, complex buying behavior, variety seeking buying behavior, dissonance buying behavior and habitual buying behavior and the level of involvement that consumer shows in this different buying behavior also differs. First, the complex buying behavior. So, as the name suggests here, the involvement of consumer is very high as uh, a huge amount is being invested in purchasing the products uh, and, and the availability of the product is also there is uh, uh, many alternatives for this product and therefore they have to show a high involvement on deciding which one to purchase, uh, from where to purchase and what are its features and uh, what will be the reaction of their families of friends when they make a purchase of these products and the next one is dissonance buying behavior it is also called as dissonance reducing buying behavior here again the consumer has to show a high involvement as the products price is high and at the same time the frequency of purchasing these products is uh, less and uh, the availability or the alternate for this product is also not much in the market Next one is variety seeking buying behavior. Here the involvement of the consumer in making a choice is very low as there are several alternatives available. For example, if a consumer wants to purchase a cookie, so he might uh, not decide on which brand he has to purchase for he might randomly make a choice of any brand and the next time if again he is willing to purchase a cookie, he might change his mind and go up for a different brand. Next is habitual buying behavior where uh, this kind of behavior again consumer shows low involvement in deciding on which brand to go for as uh, uh, this is also known as routine buying behavior. This is usually associated with products which are on a daily use like for example making a choice of uh, milk or dairy products or energy drinks. So here again the involvement of consumer is not very high. Uh, let us see what is consumer involvement. Consumer involvement refers to the degree of information processing or extent of importance that a consumer attaches to a product. The degree of involvement has a very significant effect on consumer behavior. When more expensive products are to be purchased, a consumer gets more involved in purchase process. But when he has to purchase, when equally uh, like the price of the product is relatively less, then the involvement is also low. The levels of involvement of consumers are low involvement, there are some involvement and 
high involvement so habitual buying behavior here the uh, involvement of the consumers are low here the products would be like uh, tea coffee toothbrush washing powders or any dairy products then he shows some kind of involvement in making the decisions like for example when he has to make a choice of purchasing any cosmetics or uh, snacks uh, the involvement of the consumer uh, he shows very some uh, level or uh, very low level of involvement and when it comes to high involvement products the decision that a consumer makes to invest on any product would be uh, uh, the time period would be high and uh, lengthy decision is taken uh, he has to uh, you know verify different uh, marketing efforts different brands uh, the examples of uh, high involvement products would be cars um, properties uh, diamonds etc so here are some of the examples wherein the consumer shows high involvement like when he has to decide on purchasing a car as it is an expensive product he has to show high involvement in purchasing it similar with the book the cost of the book would not be that uh, expensive as compared to car but still uh, if if he is preparing for any competitive exam the level of involvement he has to show to the book will also be high on selecting the right one same with medicine as well um, when a medicine is being purchased which may not be very expensive yet the customer may be highly involved in checking as to which would be more reactive now let us see the application of consumer behavior in marketing so consumer behavior is being applied uh, when uh, he has to analyze the market opportunities which is there for the uh, marketers to explore and expand his business uh, he has to show uh, his um, uh, uh, apply consumer behavior in selecting the target market where he has to actually uh, you know has opportunity for uh, the business to you know happen and then when he has to make a decision on the, the four P's of marketing mix uh, the consumer behavior has to be studied so this is the consumer decision making process there are some uh, certain factors which influences the buying behavior as well like uh, social cultural psychological um, economical etc so usually the consumer first has to recognize uh, the need for the product uh, is there actual a uh, need for the product uh, and how much is he ready to spend for the product and then he has to uh, uh, gain information on the product like where is it available what what would be the features what would be the price and uh, what are its uh, um, you know what kind of after sale service it is providing and then he has to evaluate the different alternatives the different brand that is uh, that is available he has to evaluate as to which brand would be more suitable for him and uh, then he has to, he makes the right a decision of selecting the brand and uh, finally he purchases the product and post purchase behavior is the feedback that he gives after purchasing the product so with this we end up our today's session and we'll continue later thank you